What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Caps, and you just uh, run across my uh, channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, I got one channel message. This is for week three of November of 2021. Let's see here. Yeah, week three. I know I'm a day behind, but week three for um, November. This could resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, no, mid, or Jupiter. Uh, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. I got one channeled in as I was meditating on your weekly energy. And the channel that I received was um, a Capricorn is about to um, unveil their false mask to someone that's what i heard so you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you at least for one of you guys in the universe so it sounds like you're going to unveil your false mask to someone for some it could be some several people but at least one person in the universe so you're going to unveil your false mask so you're going to be real with them basically in the past you were probably um not you were not real with them and it sounds like you're gonna be real with them now very real very real is what I heard. Very real. Okay, so you're going to be very real with them now, but you were not in the past. For some, this is going to go really, really well. For some, this is not because of lies in the past. Okay, for some of you guys, it's going to go really, really well. So unveiling, uh, I'm sorry, revealing your false mask is going to go really, really well for some of you guys and being real with this person. But for some, I heard it's not because it's some kind of crazy, serious lies of the past. So you plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. This can resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, the mid, or Jupiter. Free general reading, only take the messages that resonate. Um, if you guys would like to uh, book a reading, you have to text me. My, uh, info, uh, my number is in the description box below. Um, and then we can, if you'd like a personal reading, it's $100 for 15 minutes. Um, we do it on Google Duo, just to let you know. Um, if you're interested, you have to text. I'll let you know the booking times that are still available. And um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. You really, really are. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do. Okay. Ace of Swords reverse, Princes of Wands upright, the Empress reverse. A Capricorn was involved in hiding an illegal business and a serious drug user family member covering up for them in the past. However, this Capricorn is not going to do this anymore, anymore, about to reveal it all. Things have gotten way out of hand. Oh, God. So you plug it in how it resonates, Caps, if this resonates for you. Um, there's some kind of illegal business that you were covering up for in the past. Illegal business, and I heard a family member, a drug user family member that's gotten way out of hand. So they are using some kind of drugs in some shape, form, or fashion, and it's gotten way out of hand. Now, however, that's whatever drug that is, and however it's gotten way out of hand, you have to plug it in how it resonates. But I heard you're not going to cover up for them no more. So you're not going to cover up no more. You're about to reveal, reveal it all. So whoever you're going to reveal it all to, it might be police, it might be authorities, it might be governmental entity agency energy, it might be legal community, it might be um, child protective services. I'm not sure, but you're going to reveal it all to somebody, whoever this is. Now, the Ace of Swords reverse is the, you, the cover up energy in the past, basically. You were covering up for them. Line, 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 basically. Cover up energy. Illegal business energy, cover up energy, and the family member. I feel um, this is cover up for the family member and the illegal business. Uh, I feel it's probably your family member that um, conspired for this illegal business, or they were a part of it, or you were a part of it. But however it is, you don't want to be a part of it. 
anymore or you never were, however that resonates. But you're going to reveal it all now, however that resonates, okay? But you definitely, there's a family member connected that's on heavy drugs, I'll tell you that. For some, it could be one family member on heavy drugs. For some, it could be two or more. This is you, lots of desire, drive, and motivation. You could be masculine or femme. Everybody takes on masculine and femme energies, just let you know. You can be masculine or femme, lots of desire, drive, and motivation to reveal this information about this um, and un undoing the cover-up, basically. Revealing the cover-up. There's lots of desire, drive, and motivation to unveil the cover-up. Uh, and this is your drug user family member. They could be a femme energy or they could be a masculine that takes on a lot of femme, but they're coming in as an empress reverse, very unstable, ungrounded, unreliable, undependable. They drug use. For some, I feel they have child or children, and they do not properly take care of their children. That's exactly the energy I'm feeling in here for some of you guys. Um, because they're coming up as Empress Reverse for a reason is what I'm saying. Empress Upright, usually they are either pregnant, or they're very giving and motherly and kind and nurturing, or they have children and they're very good, you know, they take care of their children, they're loving towards their children, etc. This person's gone reverse, man. So they don't. I feel they have kids, kid or kids, your drug user family member. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. So cover, uh, uncovering, you're going to help um, expose the cover-up, basically, from the illegal uh, business and the drug user family member, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have a son of cats. Now, for some of you guys, that illegal business, you you know, you didn't have to be connected to it, but some of you could have been. For some, you could have been a consumer of the illegal business at one time, possibly. Uh, for some, you could have been actually making money off of it. I'm not sure. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Seven of Cups reverse, prin um, Princes of Cups upright. A particular Capricorn is about to get very intuitive signs from the universe. Some femme Capricorn, some masculine Capricorn. A feminine energy is very into you. You're about to really, your intuition is about to really, really peak and you're about to pick up on this in a huge way. Okay, cool cats. A little bit of love in here. Woo! You plug it in how it resonates. Hopefully it's healthy love and not toxic love. Just saying. But you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. So I heard you could be a masculine or femme. So you can be masculine or femme cats if this resonates with you. But whoever is, I think they're going to hit on you. Or they're going to make it very, very just, they're very just very blunt and to the point. And they just, they're just going to tell you they like you. I mean, check yes or no. Can't get any clearer than that. Going back to fourth grade, just saying. Um, but it was so much simpler in fourth grade. <laughs> I'm just saying. But how this resonates, though, um, you're masculine or femme caps. But whoever is very, very into you is a femme energy. For sure, for sure. I heard that from spirit. But I heard your intuition's about to uh, spike and peak, and you're about to pick up on it. So um, I think they're going to be very direct. Or they're going to be so heavy hitting on you, there's just going to be no getting around it. That's exactly what I think. Um, because there's going to be intuitive signs from the universe. So they might want to get closer to you. They might talk to you more. They might text you a lot. Oh, I can't remember this. Can you help me with this? You, but Somebody needs to be careful that that's how that goes down, though, because that can lead to manipulation. But my point is, you're going to pick up on it. You're going to pick up on it in the universe. However it occurs is what I'm saying. Um, it's gonna, it probably will occur differently for different people. I'm sure it will. But you're going to get highly intuitive signs from the universe. It's a fem energy. They're very into you. Now, I don't know if you're into them or not. I didn't hear that part. But they're very into you. So and it sounds like it's, this is about to happen soon. You're not going to be confused on the situation because it's going to be so damn clear and obvious. Um, I think they're either blunt to the point and they're just going to freaking tell you or... You're going to see um, non um, nonverbal cues, like body language, like getting closer to you, um, speaking to you when they don't have to speak to you, getting to know you, you know, things like that. 
So it can be verbal, it can be nonverbal. I'm thinking body language for sure, for sure, for sure. You're not confused by the situation or you won't be confused when this happens. I mean, in the 3D, this is your chickadoo all up into you. They are in. I'm so into you, into you, into you. That's what I, that's energy I'm feeling. Giving loving kind towards you. Let me see if I hear anything else. For some, this person will come on too strong. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I heard for some of you guys, this person will come on too strong. Okay. So they're going to come on too strong to you for some of you guys. Now you have to plug this situation into your life. However, resonates if it resonates for you, but some of them, they're going to come on too strong. So, um, well, it's going to be no deny in the 3d, but some it's going to be too strong. So I guess maybe you're going to back away or tell them or what, I don't know what you're, how you're going to react, but I heard from spirit. Some of them are going to come on too strong. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, let me get a tea leaf, and then we'll close in. Spirit messages you have for Sonic Cats. A particular Capricorn is about to have a very selfish Scorpio for some and Pisces for some come attempt to come back into their life. It'd be very smart not to allow this person back in. And for some, a Libra. And for some, a Leo. Oh, okay. So for some of you guys, you're going to have a, I heard very, very selfish Libra, Leo, Caps, or Pisces. For some, it could be one of those signs. For some, it could be two or more. You have to plug these people in, however, you're, in your life, however they resonate. But they're, I heard from spirit, they're very, very selfish. Very selfish. So, they're me, 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 not us, 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 or we, or everybody in the mama. It's all about them, all about them, all about them. Leo, Libra, Pisces. Who was the other one? Leo, Libra, Pisces, and Scorpio, Scorpio. Um, I heard be very smart to not allow them back in your life. So there's somebody from your past. Of course, it's your free will whether you allow them in your life or not. That's your decision. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. This is what I got. Huge changes coming in the universe for many Capricorns. For some Capricorns, they're going to create tower moments for other people. For some, they will be positive tower moments. For some, they will be negative. Okay, cats. Okay. So for some of you guys, I heard you're, um, you are going to create the change. Well, for some, I think you are going to create it. For some, I think it's just going to happen anyways. Five, 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 change energy, basically. Um, but change is coming, whether you want it to or not, basically, is what I'm gathering from that. But for some, you're going to help create tower moments, which is huge, life-altering change. You can't get around the tower moments. Um, for some of these tower moments, you are going to, you're going to be tower moment creators, if this resonates. And I think that's where the caterpillar energy comes in for some of you guys. For some of the tower moments that you create, Caps, they're going to be positive tower moments for some people. You're creating them for other people. So it's going to be positive tower moments for some and negative tower moments for others. For some, I think the tower moments you're going to create that are negative is for these drug addicted, don't take care of their kid or kids, family members, and this uh, illegal business or illegal businesses um, that was being covered up. That's what I feel for some of you guys. For some, and of course, negative tower moments, obviously, for that. For some, it can be a positive tower moment towards Shikadu or a negative tower moment towards Shikadu, possibly. For some, it could be somebody else in your life, however that resonates. And But it's for some of you guys, you have one, at least one person in the universe coming back that's very selfish and greedy and all about them. For some, it could be up to, uh, well, it could be more than four. Um, I heard four signs, but, you know, it could be like a 100 freaking leos and 500 Li libras for all we know but at least one person in the universe for some of you guys two or more is what i'm saying leo libra pisces and leo libra pisces and scorpio um but 
you're going to, you are going to be telling on the creator. So you are going to be deciding, basically. I think some of these things are going to be very positive. Some are going to be very negative. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. And one particular Capricorn is about to offer something to a Leo they never thought they would. And one particular Capricorn is about being made to give something to a Leo that they never thought they would. Okay, whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates with you. So one particular Capricorn is about to offer something to a Leo they never thought they would. So if that's for you, you plug in your life out fits. That could be a positive tower moment. Well, it could be positive, positive or negative, whatever you're offering to them. I'm assuming it's probably going to be positive, but for some it could be negative. So that could be a positive or negative tower moment for the Leo. I heard you never thought you would offer it to them. So I'm thinking it's positive for some of you guys. And for some cats, I heard you're being made to give something to a Leo that you never thought you would have to. Um, so I think that's going to be a negative tower moment for you, Caps, um, because it doesn't sound like you want to give it over. This Capricorn most certainly does not want to give it over. It's money. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, so the, okay, so the one that has to, is going to be made to give the, uh, heard it's money. That you're gonna have to give over to a Leo. You don't want to give it over to them, but I heard you're gonna be made to do do it. So you're gonna be forced to give it over to them. Um, it sounds like the series of chain of events, but you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. So that could be the change in your life as well, having to give over this money that you didn't want to have to give over to the Leo. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter, masculine and their fem Leo. You plug it in how it resonates. And then a caps is gonna offer something to a Leo they never thought they would offer. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Candles and calabash. Whoa, candles and calabash? What, what the crap is that? Where's my phone? Calabash? What is calabash? I heard it, but I don't know what that is. Hold on. I got to Google calabash before we get off of here. Obviously, we all know what candles are. Calabash. What is Calabash? I don't know. It's a city in North Carolina, a town in North Carolina. Calabash. Also known as Bottle Gourd, White Flower Gourd, Long Melon Birdhouse Gourd. So it's a gourd? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm getting. It's a gourd. I that I've heard it before, but that's not how I've heard it. I thought it was like a fancy term, candles and calabash. I don't know. Y'all plug it in how it resonates. You let me know in the description box below if I'm missing something on this. It's also an evergreen tropical American tree, but it might be something else. Y'all let me know in the description box below if I'm missing something with that. But I heard candles and calabash. So candles and gourds or candles and evergreen tree or candle. Maybe, maybe that's a, maybe that's a location. Maybe it's a location, a fancy location. Maybe it's a, that's what I'm thinking for some. Let me know. Let me know. All right. Love you guys. Namaste.